Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Transatlantic GH-DRBD-103 US32D 4.5 inch door reinforcer in a satin stainless steel finish. Okay. This is, this is, to be careful with it, they call it satin stainless steel finish. doesn't indicate that the base material is stainless, but looking at the inside of it, I can tell that the material is actually made of stainless steel. Uh, the material, what it looks like on the inside, and the fact that it's not ferrous, tells me uh, that this is stainless steel. Uh, more importantly, where will, you, where will you use this? You're going to use this for a door that's inch and three-eighths thick, where the uh, back set of the hole is two and three-eighths. So those are the two critical things. Inch and three-eighths door thickness, two and three-eighths back set. Now where, where you will use this is, well, anywhere where you have some damage on an inch and three-eighths door. That could be an attached uh, garage to a home. The garage door can sometimes be a solid core inch and three-eighths door. I've seen exterior doors uh, in the same uh, sort of, uh, in the same thickness. Uh, two and three eighths tells me that it could also be interior, but in inch and three eighths doors can typically be done at uh, two and three eighths backside as well. You might have an interior door that is simply damaged. Uh, the lock uh, might have been jimmied with. The door may have been, you know, forced open, etc., causing some damage to the door. And while this would not be ideal to have on an interior door, it uh, might be. A better option than replacing the door altogether. The rest of the dimensions, four and a half inch, four inch, that's very typical. The diameter of that hole is inch and, uh, pardon me, two and an eighth, and that's very common. Uh, you can see holes for the screws there, and those are indeed included to attach it to the door. Also, there are some short little machine screws that are there and what those are going to be used for is to actually attach your latch bolt to the edge of the plate and then you install the entire unit onto the door because if your door has been damaged, let's say it's been kicked in, the edge of the door will be cracked or there might be su sufficient damage that you no longer can attach the latch bolt to the uh, edge of the door directly. So you'll use those machine screws to get the unit attached, uh, the latch bolt attached to the door reinforcer and get this pushed on and uh, placed onto uh, the, uh, the door itself. I like to, when I'm installing it, I like to bring my screw in at an ever so slight angle just so that it helps draw the plate out tight against the edge of the door. You might have to do some filing or some working of that preparation to make it sit as flush as possible. If you have an entirely uh, tight gap to begin with, you're going to want to test run this prior to installing it. Uh, you might need to make some room with a hammer and chisel to get this completely flush to the edge of the door. Depending on how tight it is, generally uh, residential doors aren't uh, built with that sort of uh, concern over strict adherence to tolerances, so you might easily have no problem fitting this on. Okay, There's a link below this video to what's called the product brochure, and that uh, is a just a general catalog showing uh, this on page four and some sister products to it along with other items that are in the same sort of category as this. If you have any questions on the Transatlantic GHR, D, pardon me, DRDD103 32D four and a half inch door reinforcer or any other Transatlantic product, please feel free to reach out to us. 